Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Monkey Putter with another course review from PGA Tour 2K23. Now the course I'm going to be playing today is called Rail Links Golf Club, designed by Alec675922. Now the course setup I've gone for is the white tees at 7101 yards, pin position 1, the wind speed I've set to medium, but everything else I've left on the default. And if we just take a quick look at the defaults, you'll see that the fairways and the greens are soft, so we're not going to get much roll out of the ball, and the green speed is medium. Weather conditions are light cloud, and the time of day is morning. So without further ado, we'll head off to that first tee, and we'll get this round underway. Ooh, par three to open the round with. Quite a tricky green. I think I'm going to go with the A time, but I'm going to increase the loft. Stay up. Nice opening birdie. I always think it's tough in real life when you play a golf course and the first hole is a par three because you haven't really had chance to sort of loosen up and find your rhythm etc so you get a, a par three on the opening hole and it can be tough 470 yards right okay let's have a quick look I think that's out of bounds on the left yes it is Looks in good shape, right down the middle. I know I've said it before, but I do wish they would introduce a camera mode on the console versions of this game. You can on the PC by using the F10 key on the keyboard. Unfortunately, not on the consoles. I think it's a real shame. You see, it would give you the opportunity to really fly around and, and appreciate the effort that's gone into a course design. Because you guys that design these courses, I know that you spend hundreds of hours. It's a little bit slow. It's going to be short. Ah, poor shot. Tricky putt up the hill. Left to right break. Yep, didn't read that one very well. It was a solid par though. Par 5, 506 yards. If I can hit this fairway, I should be able to reach it in two.
pulled it. Ah, crap, that's in the sand. I'm not going to reach in two now. No. Sixty two yards to go. That's a birdie. Sort of par five. You could eagle with a decent drive. Now then we've got a dog leg right here. Quite a sharp one. Could potentially cut the corner here. But there's not a lot of fairways. You'll see the fairway is pretty narrow there. So the danger is if you do carry the corner and you land roughly where the aim marker is, you're going to run too far but it will leave a shorter second shot so potentially worth a gamble let's give it a go, see what happens oh that's going to hit the tree Nope. Will it stop on the fairway? I think it will because they're soft. That's leaked a little right. fifth hole is uphill actually that's interesting it's obviously an elevated tee because you look at how elevated the green is so the tee must be elevated as well because according to the uh, the HUD in the top right hand corner there we're only a couple of feet up that's into a seven mile an hour wind though don't want to come up short now do I club up 164 165 yeah, let's go with the seven iron, but increase the loft just as just a little bit. Pulled it. It's coming back a little bit on the wind. Hold your line, it's not going to. Ah, it's a misread. Okay, sixth hole, par four. I don't think I can drive it. It's going to be a tough fairway to hit, actually.
I pulled it again. I need to. I need to practice on the range more. I think. Try and find my swing. It's not been good for a while now. Couple of inches downhill. Hold your line. Ah, oh, no. Not reading the putts very well at all now. That's a nice view heading out towards the ocean. So par five, back into the breeze. The swing plane was better there. Oh, got left 212, slightly downhill. I think I'll stick with a four iron. That needs to go. Go on, big bounce forward. Oh, not quite. I don't like these very short chips. I tend to struggle with them. I was a bit tentative there. Oh, what a great par three. Heading back towards the lighthouse. Speechless. Really poor, poor swing. Right, outside chance of a birdie here. Uh, not a bad effort. Just a par. Two yards to go. These greens are soft. I'm going to go with the pitch here. Shouldn't roll too far. Yeah, nice shot. Simple birdie that one. Now onto the back nine. We've got a par five with water all the way down that right hand side. So key thing here is to try and keep that ball dry. Mm, 
Now I've hit it fast, but that's mainly because there was no way I was going to hit that one slow with the water looming. Now I'm in the heavy rough. Don't think I can reach, but it is a par five. Oh, I missed that mound. Missed that mound. Oh, it did. That's not bad from where I was. Plenty of backspin on this one. I think this is another one of these courses where you would really benefit by playing in higher winds. I set it to medium, um, which to be fair isn't like true Lynx golf. I mean, I'm a member of a Lynx golf here in Cornwall in the UK, and it's always windy. You hardly ever get a calm day. Now this is a risk reward par four, if ever I saw one. Hmm. Not sure about this. It's you kind of feel like you want to go for it. But it's extremely risky. And the wind is behind as well now. I think on this occasion I'm gonna chicken out and I'm gonna just try and hit the three wood down the fairway if I can. I've hit it slow. Oh, come on. Well, that's a great part. I didn't see it drop, but it's a great part. And the twelfth hole, three ninety uphill. about a hundred yards if you include the elevation slight upslope as well it's a good shot and 15 but a drop in elevation of 37 feet so we can take about 12 yards off that that's going to be 103 
don't want to get too greedy here and race this one by because it'll <clears throat> it'll go downhill once it gets past the hole. That's not going to turn enough. Oh, it did. Oh, what a putt. For a minute there, I didn't think it was going to turn, but it did. 575 yard par 5. Not the easiest of drives. Oh, but it's slow again. <coughs> yeah, just smash it. Can't reach, so plants a three shotter. Ooh, now then. Interesting. Can you see that the, the hole is in like a kind of a like a canyon, I guess you could refer to it as. What I'm going to try here is maybe use that slope behind the hole. Ah, uh, I, I don't know what's happened to my swing. Ah, uh, that's really poor. Just a par. Now then, 15th hole, par 4. It's a good swing. Oh, tough shot. See the slopes on that green. This is going to be a tricky one. I'm going to try something really silly here. Loads of backspin. Not total backspin, but quite a bit. Actually, I've just noticed I'm on the slopes. So yeah, I'm going to hit total backspin. That better spin. Not much. I guess it's because it's slow greens. Or soft greens, I should say. Three par fours remaining. Uh, this is quite a long one, 466. I'm guessing that's out of bounds down the left. Yes, it is. Oh dear. I wonder if the battery might be getting a little low on my controller. Mm. 
Oh, that was a bit unlucky. Just caught that uh, kind of false front. Oh, that's a good try. Four sixty. It's a good looking drive. And 38 to go. Ooh, flag is near the front, and as you can see, you've got runoff areas front and right. It's up in as well. It's got to go. Nah, it's short. Couldn't bring myself to club up. I'm going to putt this one though. Oh, it's a good try, but not good enough. It's a cracking hole to finish with. That's very effective. Very nice. You see where the course gets its name from. I'm going to hit a fade here because I want to try and move the ball left to right away from that water hazard if I can. Oh, I pulled it. Pulled it and hit it fast. Well, the ground is soft, so it probably won't get into any trouble. Yeah, it's okay. 165 yards to go. Oh, I'm on an upslope. Okay. Hold your line. Oh, that was so close. Well, that's a really nice course. Um, I love Lynx Golf. I, like I said to you earlier, I'm a member of a Lynx Golf in real life. Um, there's just something about Lynx Golf I just find really really magical um, so yeah great course many congratulations to Alec675922 um, I hope you won't mind me saying his real name is Alec Pendleton so well done Alec you've done another good course keep up the good work well thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button down below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel I would really appreciate it well take care everyone and I will see you again soon bye bye now